Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Wednesday that, quote, we will make our own decisions and the state of Israel will do everything necessary to defend itself after coming under attack by a volley of Iranian missiles and drones last weekend. Western countries pleading for restraint have dispatched their top diplomats to Jerusalem. German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock said Berlin stood in full solidarity with Israel but warned the region must not, quote, step by step slide into a situation with a totally unpredictable outcome. It's right to be in here in Israel today to show solidarity after that appalling attack by Iran. UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron said he expected an Israeli response to Iran on, hoping it would be limited. It's clear the Israelis are making a decision to act. We hope they do so in a way that does as little to escalate this uh, as possible and in a way that, as I said yesterday, is, is smart as well as tough. The Iranian attack on Saturday included cruise missiles, ballistic missiles and explosive drones. <laughs> they were mostly shot down by Israel and its allies and caused no deaths. Iran said the bombardment was retaliation for a presumed Israeli strike that killed senior Iranian military figures in a diplomatic compound in Damascus earlier in April. Following the attack, Iran's foreign minister warned Israel against reprisals, saying, quote, it will definitely face a decisive and harsh response. Washington says it is planning to impose new sanctions targeting Iran's missile and drone programs in coming days and expects its allies will follow suit. EU leaders are due to discuss sanctions at a summit in Brussels, and sanctions are also on the agenda at G7 talks in Italy.
Middle East is on the brink. The people of the region are confronting a real danger of a devastating full-scale conflict. Now is the time to defuse and de-escalate. Now is the time for maximum restraint. هیچ توافقی بین در واقع ما و هیچ طرف دیگری برای اقدام جمهوری اسلامی ایران معنا و مفهوم ندارد. We did receive messages from Iran and they received messages from us too. But there was never any message to us or to anyone else on the time frame, the targets or the type of response. In fact, before yesterday, it was presumed that 100 ballistic missiles might overwhelm even the best defensive systems. That was Iran's intent, and as you all saw for yourself, it didn't work. We're surging additional military assistance to the Israeli Defense Force, including ammunition, interceptors to replenish the Iron Dome, and we've moved the U.S. carrier fleet to the eastern Mediterranean, and we're sending more fighter jets there in that region, and made it clear, made it clear to the Iranians, be careful.